the heartbeat of competition, the drama of the moment. This is NASCAR on Nick Blam Racing. Kentucky is a state known for hoops and horsepower, and tonight we're going to bring you horsepower and spades at a track with one of the most hated corners in NASCAR, Kentucky Motor Speedway. We're here for tonight's running of the Buckle Up Your Truck, Click It or Ticket 225. Welcome, race fans, to the Gander Outdoor Truck Series on McBlam Racing. I'm your commentator and driver of the number 83 South Point Hotel and Casino Chevrolet for Henderson Motorsports, Mikey McBlam. And we have a series of difficult tracks ahead of us starting tonight at Kentucky. The track with the hardest corner in NASCAR, which is fitting because we have 32 drivers with the hardest heads in NASCAR. Will we have another repeat winner tonight, or will we have a new entry into the win column this season? It's time to rack them up and find out. Fasten down your PCs, mobile devices, and TVs as we're about to go NAS trucking at Kentucky. All right, the field has been set for the buckle up in your truck 225 here at Kentucky Motor Speedway. Spencer Boyd's truck has been really fast today, so look for him to take the lead early. Tyler Ankrum had to change his engine after qualifying, and Todd Gilliland had to replace the transmission before the race. They will start at the tail end of the field, leaving us to start P24 on the outside lane. Stuart Friesen is going to lead this band of hooligans to the line. Green flag in the air. Let's bring the noise at Kentucky. Stuart Friesen leads lap one. Things got pretty spread out here in the, towards the tail end of the field. Oh, we got tight. Slight contact with Joe Nemechek. It's okay. He keeps it out of the wall. He managed to go down to the bottom of the track. Now Benjamin, the 44, giving us a big shove off of two. That helped us. And Tyler Ankrum has already made his way up to 21st. Remember, Tyler Ankrum started at the tail end of the field after replacing his engine so he must have a good one in there because he is on the move and he's going there he's going to the front fast also on the other hand we have a different problem we make our way we've improved one spot on the start so far but we have a big problem on the center of turns number one and two it's just you'll notice three and four here three and four is kind of our bread and butter so watch us catch up to gustine right here Tyler Ankrum already cracked the top 20, looks like. Maybe 21st. So as you see, like we caught up to Gustine pretty well here, and I don't know what's up with this apron. <laughs> I do not know what's up with this apron, although I will say that I am very happy that it doesn't spin you like a top here. I am very appreciative of that. But yeah, they, they really missed the design on the apron yeah, on the front stretch there. We're going to try to go to the outside of Gustine here, see if we can get, capture some momentum on the outside. Turn three and four is a lot about patience. A lot about patience. Yeah, Tyler Eichel definitely got up there to the top 20. He is moving, man. <laughs> he is moving. I want to see where he's going to finish towards the end of this race here. We got tight in that time. And like, so we have this problem where we're loosened in the, in the center of the turn one and two. And I don't know what to do about that. I've been battling it in practice all, all the way long. I literally spent like the whole hour of practice trying to dial in this truck. There doesn't seem to be any setups for it for Kentucky. So we're just kind of, we're just kind of, you know, we kind of just threw something in there and tried to see what we could do and adjust on it. Yeah, you see, we just, we just get really loose and in the center. And it doesn't matter if I press the gas or not. It doesn't matter how hard I touch the, the throttle, how e how much I ease into it. None of that seems to matter. 
is just the center of the turn, the the truck just wants to break loose and snap around on me. And I don't know what to do about that. I've made several adjustments. Just trying to dial this in. I ran out of time in practice. Couldn't really do anything during qualifying. We qualified 28th, actually. So we actually moved up quite a few spots. Yeah, see there, it just, truck just snaps loose on us. Because it doesn't matter what we do, we just, we just struggle so hard with that. And unfortunately, that's where the AI is best. They are OP in one and two. I can't do anything with them. And three and four, three and four is a lot about patience. One lap to go in the stage for Stuart Friesen, but three and four is a lot about patience. You just have to kind of just let it roll, let it kind of roll through the center, ease back into the throttle, and you'll be fine. You'll, you'll get some good momentum off turns three and four, but one and two is just awful. All right, stage win goes to Stuart Friesen. Looks like we're going to end the stage 23rd, so we had a smoker come down pit road. I'm not sure who that was. I can't really tell on the left there. But like Stuart Friesen is your stage winner, followed by Brett Buffett, Ross Chastain, Harris Burton, Brandon Finger, Austin Hill, Matt Crafton, Eckes Anderson, and then <laughs> our arch nemesis, Mason Massey, finishes in the top 10. I'm starting to get a little bit upset with that, <laughs> but we're going to try some stuff here. We're going to take a little bit. Um, we're going to put some in the right front, and we're going to take some out of the right rear. Hopefully, this is going to tighten this truck up. It's going to make it really hard in the entry of the turns, but I think we can probably compensate. I'm trying to compensate for that loose, loose middle. I'm trying to compensate for it. So here we go. Rain flag in the air. Stage two is underway. Stuart Friesen leads him to the line. Now, I'm not going to Kyle Bush it through the field. You'll notice that I'm not going to be able to really Kyle Bush it through the field, even though I'm on fresh tires. Remember, the AI are set to more stable. I am set to less grip. So I just wanted to kind of even this out a little bit here. I may, <laughs> I may have done myself a really bad, but hey, <laughs> we'll just have to see. So we'll be able to get by these guys really, really quickly. I think once we start to get up to our, get inside of Quapple. I think once we start to get up to our qualifying position, where well, we're actually already there, things are going to be a little bit harder. All right. Inside of our teammate, Parker Clickabit. He side drafts us, pulls us back a little bit. All right. It feels a little bit better. I still feel it trying, wanting to come around on us. All right. Should be able to get our teammate here. We do. We were him. Come off of turn four. Had to check up quite a bit for Kyle Benjamin. Had nowhere to go there. Five laps to go in the stage. Stuart Friesen is still leading. He's dominant. Oh, Kyle. He's around. He saves it. <laughs> I knocked him around and uh, <laughs> my teammate saved him. Not terribly happy with Kyle Benjamin there. He should have not done that. Um, I didn't really have a problem with him coming up in my lane. It was just that he came up and hit the brakes and I had nowhere to go and he just kind of messed up my entry there. I mean, I guess I, I, I guess I had time to hit the brakes there, but I mean, if you're gonna pull up in front of somebody like that, I mean, you gotta, you got to expect that the guy behind you may not cut you a break, and I did not cut Kyle Benjamin a break there. We're running P25, looking to the outside of Jennifer Jo Cobb currently. Uh, I can't see Tyler Ankrum anymore. So he must have been, he must have flew up there. Yeah, I can't see where he is anymore. Inside of Jennifer Joe Cobb, man, we're just so loose. So loose. We manage. It's a little bit better, though. It's a little bit more manageable. We clear Jennifer Joe Cobb. Josh Remy's on the outside now. 
He's going to be the next one that we're going to try to pick off. Two more laps to go in the stage. Stuart Friesen is dominant. He needs this win to get into the playoffs. He needs this win. He's been running really well, but the win has just escaped his grasp all season long. And it's like the playoffs are closing in quick. If he's going to do something, he's got to do it. He's got to he's got to do it now. He's got to take advantage of this. White flag in the stage, one to go. Work our inside of Josh Remy. Southern now ahead of us. Ooh, Remy side drafting, big time. All right, kind of clear him in turn number one. Let's see if, oh, there, uh, come on, come on, come on. All right, okay. Yeah, but see, we, we had to get so, we were so slow through there that allowed Remy to get a run on us. Stage two is going to go to Stuart Friesen. We're battling side by side with Josh Remy in the 33. We're going to finish 24th. Nothing we can really do about that. It was just, just the nature of it. So stage win goes to Stuart Friesen. And let's see, we got Ross Chastain, Tyler Ankrum in third. Eckes and Finger, Austin Hill, Moffitt, Anderson, Burton, and Austin Wayne Self will round out the top five. A little happy that our nemesis isn't up there. I'm not even going to lie about that. But we are going to take a little bit more out of the right rear. We're going to take a half a pound out. And I think we just, just add some tape. Maybe that'll help out us out with speed a little bit. But, man, how about, how about Tyler Ankrum in the 17? <laughs> We got to see where he's going to end up in this stage. <laughs> he might have a race winning truck. He, I think he actually does. Here we go. Stage three is underway. Friesen leads him to the line. Can he hang on for the win and get himself a spot in the playoffs? Here we go down in a turn one. Ooh, Akram's right there on his tail. He is right there. Ready to pounce. He may have it. Let's see if Stewart can hold him off. There we go inside. Oh, I did not expect Sauter to cut down like that. Kind of killed our momentum. All right. Stewart led it lap 20, 22. 18 laps to go. Oh, man. A uh, little tight little tight like I said we don't have a, a right rear to lead on there but we're kind of hoping that it evens out that felt pretty good we're just still not great it felt good just not great we got a oh Tyler Ankrum took over the lead <laughs> Tyler Ankrum tears the lead away from Stuart Friesen can Stuart catch back up or is Tyler just have too much truck we may have to take a look at that engine at the end of the race <laughs> Whatever he changed it to, man, it, it, it gave him some speed. And yes, yeah, still still fighting that loose center. Not a lot we can do there. That just really kills our momentum. It's also not looking good for our sponsor bonus because we got to get into the top 20. I think we can do it. Maybe. It's just going to be a matter of how the truck's going to hang on in the long run. All right, guys, come on. All right, I had to get on the brakes there. I was just going to slide right up into the corner. I didn't really have a lot, and I still got loose. <laughs> I still got loose. Mm. Trying to fight for this spot here. I really want this top 20. I got to lay off for Gustine. Uh. <laughs> Patience. Patience. Souter is side drafting me to heck and back. Man, he's still on my right rear. Oh boy. See if he keeps side drafting me. Up, 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 up. Yep, yep, yep. See if he was still side drafting me in the center of the corner there. I, I, I was just gonna. I had to just let off and give him the spot. I was gonna wreck. Little tap to Souter. Little tap. It's like, hey, I'm loose. Why are you side drafting me? 
Why are you killing me? Alright. Let's see if we can do it one and two. Oh, man. We are just barely hanging on, man. It's like, it doesn't matter what I do. It's just, if I slam on the gas pedal, loose. If I don't get on the gas until the end of the, to like the exit of the corner, loose center. If I don't, if I ease the throttle back in, loose center. <laughs> There's like nothing I can do. That's what's so frustrating about it. All right, I'm gonna try the outside. Just try a different way. See what happens. Nope, still loose. That was worse. Okay, that was way, way worse. That was way worse. I almost just completely looped it there. All right. Let's try to try to regroup here. Settle down. This is gonna be a fight. This is gonna be a big fight. And they don't give me a lot of room to enter the corner here. This is that's another thing I don't really like. I need to be able to kind of arc it in there, but I mean they're crowding me. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's I, it's I think it's the way it should be. They're just they're just crowding me, not giving me a whole lot of room. All right. Sounder went high. I was going high. I did not expect that. <laughs> that's okay. And clear Sauter off of turn number four. Pick up P22. Now the rank room is a straightaway ahead of us. We're pretty much half a lap ahead of us right now. I think he's gone. I think nobody has anything uh, for Tyler Ankrum. I don't think I've got anything for this truck. Oh, contact off turn number two. Remy wants to be a draft partner. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, Remy. <laughs> You might just want to try to get around me, because, uh... <laughs> I feel like if you get to my back bumper in the wrong turn, or the center of the turn, I'm going to wreck. Yeah, he's got it. I'm going to give him the inside. He was running that Indy car line. There was nothing I could do there. I just had to, like, I just had to give it to him. All right, that wasn't awful, but... It's just, I, I can't do anything about, like I said, I can't do anything about turns one and two. My gosh, Tyler Anchor is just on a tear. I gotta be careful. I'm probably gonna finish a lap down if I'm not careful here. Nine laps to go. I expected Sauter to go, for some reason I expected Sauter to go faster than that. I had to lay off so I didn't wreck him. No, back to P25. I'm just going to try to regroup here. Try to find something that works. Hopefully the long run truck will help out. I think we're three wide with Jennifer Joe. Uh, not queer quite yet. I had to slow up so much. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hmm. I was loose before I even got to the gas. It was already starting to spin out. Yeah, Tyler Eichert's catching us. We gotta be careful. Oh, laps and winding down, guys. I don't know how this P20 is gonna look. Uh, we got three races to do it. But we got a set of difficult tracks. It's this one, and then it's Pocono, and then it's Eldora. I, I've yet to race at Eldora in a NASCAR heat game. I've yet to race there. So that should be interesting to say the least. Alright, see if we can get a run on the outside. We have that run. Remy's running the Kyle Larson line. I don't I don't I don't think that's going to work there, buddy. And up. Uh, yep, definitely doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know why I got so tight coming into that corner. On the plus side, I didn't really get all that loose coming off. I mean, that's what I just need to do. I just need to throw it in there 
at the top, turns one and two. Run the middle, turns three and four. So we call it Jennifer Joe Cobb quickly there. Five laps to go in the stage. All right. Now's the time to pour it on. It is time to pour it on. Didn't get loose that time. Did not get loose that time. Okay. I'm fine with that. Go to the inside of Souter. See if we can catch Remy. Yeah, I don't mind getting on the apron here. It's not going to spin us around like a top. He is side drafting the heck out of us. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's just side drafting. Oh, come on, Souter. You got to give us some room, buddy. All right. Oh, see if we can get around them. Oh, we're loose off the turn. Did this, mm, contact off through. Somehow I think I side drafted him, and that actually helped. Souders running the extreme high line. I think we got the position on that. Yeah. <laughs> he probably lost two positions off there. Off of that move right there. Now we're going to try to work on Josh Remy. Inside. Man, they just keeping us... They're keeping it so tight down there. Come on, he's side drafting. I did clear him, but I'm loose. Hang on to it. Hang on to it. Oh, I think I think Remy got loose there. Remy got loose as well. That helps us maintain P22. Must be our drafted partner, but we are gone. Checking out. Anchor is catching up to us. Oh boy, two laps to go. I don't think we can catch that truck out in front of us. I don't know even know who that is. I don't think we can catch him. I think we're just gonna have to try to maintain. All right, so the truck does, it's loose in the center still, but it feels like I can handle it a little bit better. Uh, if only we had more laps, right? <laughs> White flag, one to go. For Tyler Ankrum. Tyler Ankrum will be another repeat winner if he can get this win. White flag for us. Tyler Ankrum wins here at Kentucky. Yeah, we're going to come off turn number two. We do have the speed. Our truck came to us. It's just too little, too late. Not going to get a sponsorship bonus this time around. But, you know, we fought as hard as we could. We fought as hard as we could. And we're just going to bring it home. P-22. All right, so here are the race results. Tyler Ankrum, the fastest truck in the field, class of the field, wins the race. He tears the win away from Stuart Friesen, who finished third. Enfinger finished second. Ross Chastain and Austin Hill will round out the top five. Uh, Brett Moffitt, Matt Crafton, and Christian Ickes... Uh, Harrison Burton and the three of Jordan Anderson will round out the top ten. Two stage wins goes to Stuart Friesen. And here is the rest of the field where you can pick out your favorite truck driver. Natalie Decker will round out the top 20. But Greenfield got, our, got himself a top 20. He finished 22nd. And Parker Kligerman finishes 26, our teammate. He managed to remain on the lead lap. And Spencer Boyd was the truck that fell out of the race early on. Tyler Ankrum was has the fastest lap. Oh, did, 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 was anyone surprised? Was anyone surprised? Stuart Lee, Stuart Friesen led the most laps of the race, but fortunately not the most important one. Tyler Ankrum on the move started 31st, finished first. Heck of a performance there by the 17 team. And the tough break goes to Spencer Boyd, who fell out of the race early on. All right, so here are the point standings after Kentucky. We maintain our ninth place spot. Uh, 14 points ahead of Tyler Ekram, who got his second win of the season. I thought he was a repeat winner, but I guess not. Uh, but he joins the repeat winners anyway. So we have Ross Chastain, Brett Moffitt, Granning Finger, Crafton, and Stuart Friesen still look for that first win in the top five. Harrison Burton, Austin Hill, Johnny Sutter, ourselves, and Ankrum are in the top ten. Here are the playoff standings. We still lead the playoffs with three wins, and Tyler Ekram joins multiple win club. He and I, I swore that he this was going to be his third. I swore that this was going to be his third, but I, maybe I'm missing something. Anyway, Grand Figure, Harrison Burton, Tyler Ankrum, Ross Chastain round out the top five. 
Crafted, Austin Hill, and Johnny Sauter are in on the playoffs. Needing wins to get in, Brent Moffitt, Stuart Friesen. Hey, he still needs one. Uh, Dylan Lupton, Tyler Dipple, Ben Rhodes. Needing points, I don't think you can point your way in. I think we're kind of... Where we're, we're at that, we are at that point now, no pun intended, where you really, really cannot point your way in. You need to get a win, a couple wins, in, in, in fact, so to try to get your way into the playoffs at this current point. Uh, but, man, it's Kentucky. I know it's Kentucky. I know it. I know it. But it was just, that was probably the worst truck that I have had all season. Despite, you know, I've had some pretty bad, poor handling trucks, but that was probably the worst truck that I've ever had all season. It was fine on speed, but it was just the center of one and two was just so awful. That was so awful. It was just like, it, no, no matter what I did, I would break loose right in the center. And in a lot of cases, it would just want to snap the truck around. And now, now I will say like long run potential, long run potential, it actually started to feel pretty good. You know, even though it was like, all right, it, it did sort of start to break loose on me, but it was like productively loose, you know, like that loose where you can kind of just kind of let it hang out and slide and, and you can catch it and you're, not, you're still in control of it. Um, but uh, it took a while to get there. It took forever to get there. And it was just kind of like too little, too late at that point. Uh, so I missed out on a top 20 there. Couldn't get it. And as you can see, we have lost momentum, which is going to be pretty bad going into K uh, Kentucky. Uh, going into Pocono, which is next week for the Gator RV 150. <sighs> I'm just going to do what I can. I'm just going to do what I can. Um, it's 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 going to be tough. I think a top 20 is still possible. I think we have the speed. Like I said, this is hard difficulty. This isn't legend. If it was legend, it would be a completely different story. But I think we still have the speed. It's it's going to be whether the handling is 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 you know going to be worth anything. And that I don't really mind all that much. It's just when you can't do anything about it, that's when I start to have a little bit of an issue. It's like, all right, can I counteract this a little bit? Can I make it better? And it, it just it, it just felt like there was nothing I could do. I just literally had to wait for the tires to get good and worn and kind of balance out and uh, wait for the AI to start to fall off a little bit. And then you can start to make some moves. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. We're going to try to bounce back at Pocono, and I don't know what to expect at Eldora. <laughs> I just, I, I, I don't, I have no idea what to expect. It, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for toughing through this race with me. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy these races, I do them every weekend following the Gander Outdoor Truck Series. And if you enjoy some Cup Series racing, I do, I have the NASCAR Thunder 2003 career mode going every weekend following the monster energy cup series so uh, be sure to subscribe and tune in click the bell so you don't miss it and like i said thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you at pocono